As part of this demo, we will be looking at ABS integration with Identity Now and a basic role based access control scenario. From the Identity Now homepage, let us take a look at the source configuration for ABS. Under the source configuration, we can see that the basic information like the virtual appliance, the connection parameters, as well as the GDBC driver have been set up. We can test the connectivity to ABS using the test connection. We can see that the connection is successful. From the input data tab, we can take a look at how the information is configured to be aggregated into identity now. As part of the account schema, we can see all of the attributes that will be read from ABS into identity now. Under this, we can see that responsibilities and roles are two attributes that are marked as entitlements. From under the accounts tab, we can see the details of the user accounts that have already been aggregated into identity now. By clicking on one of these accounts, we can see further details. Under the create profile, we have the definition of how the attributes should be populated into EBS during account creation. Under account sync, we have the attributes that will be synchronized on EBS as per the values on identity now. Under the access profiles tab, we can configure the access profiles that correspond to this application. If we take a look at one of the access profiles Oracle EBS contractor profile, we can see among the details that there are two entitlements associated with this access profile. Now, let us take a look at the rules that have been set up. As part of this configuration, the contractor role for Oracle EBS has been set up and it has been enabled. As part of the membership criteria for this role, one of the criteria that has been defined is that the department value must equal contractor. Under the access tab, we see the contractor profile being associated with this role. Now let's take a look at the HRMS feed file. A new row has been added into this feed with the department set as contractor. Let us now go ahead and aggregate this feed into identity now from the HRMS source. The file is now getting aggregated into identity now as we can see in the details. We see that 14 accounts have been scanned. When we take a look at the accounts under this HRMS application, we see the newly created user. When we check for the details of the user Jeff, we can see that the department has been set to contractor. Correspondingly, the role has also been assigned because the user matches the membership criteria. Under the activity tab, we can also see that the account was created and two of the entitlements were added to the account. Under the accounts tab, we can see further details about the newly created account. 
This includes all the attributes that were provisioned to EBS as part of the create profile. We also see that the two entitlements are listed under the account details. On the target EBS, we can verify this by launching the user management form and searching for the username of the user that was created. Upon finding this user, we can validate the details that were populated from identity now including the two responsibilities. Thank you.